your family members they seem too many who will rise from there and break i know you come from a crown of five thousand people and just because a family meeting was held don't make a mistake of believing that everybody who came there intends to get to the other side test number one who is he that will not be fearful who is he that will not be afraid he said whosoever is fearful and afraid let him return and return early don't waste our time this is heavenly chant where deep truths are unveiled and hearts are stirred by the word of god apostle joshua selman is a messenger of divine wisdom and grace bringing forth a message that will illuminate your spirit and empower your faith most believers accept status quo and give it some superstitious explanation well i'm sure god just wants it to be that way or well i'm sure it's the devil but that in itself is not enough answer are we together i just thought to, this is not even what i'm talking about i just thought to draw a lesson i didn't want to just allow the issue of gideon to pass because many of us here seated looking at me you once heard my grandfather was a wealthy man he was a blessed man he was the greatest in the village but now the family is the poorest and no one you have not accessed that might that gideon had to ask questions what did he do that made the results happen what did he stop doing that made the results stop what was i doing that made me so powerful that my spiritual life kept growing from level to level i, I could it was palpable that i was growing the bible said how shall we escape if we neglect carelessness so great is salvation many people who fail do not ask what they are doing or not doing many people who succeed short term don't study their results they only celebrate it can i tell you this celebrating success without thoroughly understanding the dynamics around it you are only implicating yourself for casualty and it is painful to ones was there it is painful to ones rejoice it is painful to ones taste of the grace of god are you learning something tonight so when he said go in your your might most people think oh some impartation had happened the might there is not yet an anointing no the might there is the construct the understanding that courage and fortitude to start probing what took the presence of god away from you gideon what took the presence away from from the nation of israel how could god's covenant people these guys didn't need to lift a finger for jericho to go down now the midianites were oppressing them and gideon had to hide the angel said you've gotten a key don't lose it and god is handing that key over to someone tonight what is the key listen what is the key the courage to probe into why results are happening or why results are not happening whether you are succeeding or failing both of them deserve your study what am i doing that is making my promotion happen every year don't just say thank god promotion is happening no what am i doing can i tell you this when your results come by mastery you do not fear again it is possible that you can activate laws the laws of the kingdom and the laws of the spirit and in truth by luck you can access something that works and then you find out that it does not work again conferences like this bring us to a point of mastery where you can defend your result with your understanding before you graduate a student from a college of education or a university usually there is something called a defense is that true where he comes before a parliament and they try to vet and probe into his understanding so far doesn't matter the topic they are not necessarily just looking at the topic of discussion his acumen his understanding his ability to argue out in defense of the degree or whatever certification he wants to have and on the strength of what he demonstrates they can now say no you are qualified life will ask you 
what makes you think you will be anointed for 30 years you can enjoy your anointing for two years while it lasts what makes you believe that in the next 10 years you will still be relevant in ministry what gives you the audacity to believe people will still place a demand on your life go in this dynamite the ability to probe into why things happen and the ability to probe into why things don't happen you go and read your bible in the earth work of jesus every time people came and asked him questions he respected them read your bible whether it was the woman at the well whether it was john chapter 3 i hope you know it was this probing that better the scripture we use for salvation now for god so loved the world it started as a man's asking a question nicodemus came to jesus by night john 3 and verse 1 he said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these signs and wonders except god be with him and then jesus said now that you've gotten my attention let me begin to talk to you verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again then he asks another question the woman at the well she began to ask the question and he answered because the seed for an answer is a question there is no reason why you should have an answer if you are not asking a question for as long as you are not asking why your life is where it is for as long as you are not asking why you are making tremendous impact before you celebrate results be sure you can reproduce it in my opinion one of of all the dominion instructions that were given to man more than being fruitful the most powerful for me is replenish replenish is where true authority and master lies the ability to produce that result again and again and again and again and again are we learning so he comes to gideon and gideon meets him with a question why is my life like this you are giving me a command and you are telling me that i'm going to be a great warrior i will bring down the midianites and command salvation for god's people but why are we like this and the angel said keep asking because you see there is a law and when jesus came he opened us up to that law the law is found in matthew chapter 7 from verse 8 for everyone that asketh receiveth everyone not preachers everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh lord why is favor not working in my life proverbs 18 verse 1 through desire a man having separated himself the bible says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom most people would be out of their problems if only they understood this mysterious secret in the kingdom to ask why things are not working why are doors closing for me why do i come to church and the same prophetic word comes on everybody but some re come back with testimonies and others sit down and say the word is not working why i ask a lot of questions i ask god i ask men dead and alive because in that ability to inquire you will find secrets secrets that make for your continuity secrets that guarantee your stability according to isaiah 33 it is wisdom and knowledge that becomes stabilizers of a man's time and his destiny is someone learning already you are going to pray right now over yourself for the grace to ask questions and continue to ask those questions until answers come go ahead and pray in one minute why am i not walking in the dimension of the anointing that i desire why is ministry not growing why is my finances going down 
what happened in January that brought me favor and now in March the favor seems to have ended and for those of you who are doing well what am I doing by God and by grace that is producing the results that I now enjoy can I reproduce it can I bring others into that experience hallelujah hallelujah now you understand the preceding scriptures that we started with he said i do not claim to have apprehended yet philippians chapter 3 from verse 12 how could paul say that do you know the level of paul's understanding when you read ephesians chapter 3 beginning from verse 3 paul makes the defense of his spiritual intelligence he says listen i didn't just learn this thing i was initiated ephesians 3 3 i was called into a fellowship of the mystery it's like an initiation into a body of truth how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as i've written up in few words verse 4 he said so that when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ that means don't be surprised at the level the depth of my spiritual communication i was drawn in by grace into a fellowship it's like an initiation into a body of understanding and yet that's the same man who is saying i do not claim to have known anything ah. he said this one thing i do i forget the things that are behind he never said i forget the failures that are behind failure is not the only thing you need to forget we're getting there but now let me let me just run quickly because i want us to pray let's study the life of gideon and learn a lesson or two that will help us tonight and god will grant us grace are you ready to learn now judges 7 verse 1 someone's life is changing in the name of jesus then jerubal who is gideon and all the people that were with him rose up early and pitched now let me explain the context for you when god was done working with gideon he sustained the courage and the bible says he blasted a shofar when gideon blasted a shofar thirty-three thousand people came are we together now that was the man who was once weak and mediocre now he had the courage to call that shofar and 33,000 people came and the Bible says that all those people came and met him by the valley verse 2 verse 2 very quickly and the Lord said unto Gideon the people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands why lest Israel vows themselves against me saying my own hand had saved me now follow very carefully there are two principal tests and they also represent the price you must pay if you want to make progress test number one this was the test that was going to reduce the people let's find out what qualified the 300 out of 33,000 what happened that 300 were left and they were the only ones who went and conquered are you ready test number one verse three now therefore go to proclaiming the ears of the people saying whoever is fearful and afraid let him return and depart early from mount gilead and there return how many people <laughs> my goodness and my god believers are, are we are we students of scripture that out of 33,000 people who came 22,000 were in fear and he said listen don't frustrate our journey so we give you a chance now if you don't believe in your destiny enough if you are not convinced that is worth giving your all i give you a chance go back ladies and gentlemen how many went back Twenty and two thousand, and there remain i understand that god spoke to you and you wrote the vision 
and he told you you will be shaking the nations i understand that he told you when you had that shofar he said blow the trumpet in zion i know that you have come out but just because you showed up to honor that sound does not mean you will get there test number one is the test of courage it takes courage hear me the first price it takes to be a trailblazer to be consistent to weary limitations till you win is the price of courage courage is derived from conviction listen carefully courage is not outsourced it is generated one more time courage is not outsourced it is generated generated from a conviction God is speaking to someone already the Lord said unto Gideon the people are too many please go to verse 3 let's just stay at verse 3 God is speaking to someone now your family members they seem too many who will rise from there and break i know you come from a crown of five thousand people and just because a family meeting was held don't make a mistake of believing that everybody who came there intends to get to the other side test number one who is he that will not be fearful who is he that will not be afraid he said whosoever is fearful and afraid let him return and return early don't waste our time and the bible says twenty-two thousand people for god's sake they said gideon we are returning remember the dream god showed you i'm still returning remember you've come too far you left your house i'm, I'm still returning can i tell you many have returned in ministry many have returned in business many have returned over their health many have returned i'm here to encourage someone pass this test if it is there hold on hold on hold on before i pray for you you have to know that there are tests you must go through you may not like what i'm teaching you but if it's advancement you intend to have there is a test behind every genuine result you see is a testament of endurance and courage make no mistake to think the anointing just came and moved people uh -uh. before the anointing came you know the audacity it takes to position yourself to defy the crowd defy opinions we live in a world that does not respect the sacrifices of people the stamina and the staying power the man of god is just lucky the businessman i think he was just lucky do you know the pain and the tears nobody wins the olympic by mistake no you can get to the field by mistake please listen carefully because god is speaking to you the test of courage deuteronomy chapter 20 let's hurry up someone's life must change this night the first four verses deuteronomy 20 when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou he says be not afraid of them for the lord thy god is with thee hold on you would think that that god would take away the chariots he said i'm with you but you will still see chariots you will still see horses you will still see people more than you oh david when you see the size of goliath don't be afraid remember the one that is with you forget about the size of the adversary oh someone is ready to shake the devil will make you focus on the egyptians focus on chariots as though god were not with you he said wait well, hold on hold on look up please please they are how did you know there are altars fighting you is it not when you made a commitment that i will be different the altars had you they said we stopped your father we stopped your grandmother who is this man who is rising like a reed taken out of fire Allah, 
Brande ke parusa zige dele kaparuya. When you go out to battle, it is not unusual to find forces that are greater than you. No, that sickness in your body, those pills, you stand and you make up your mind that everybody lived in a rented apartment forever. But in the name of Jesus, I will build. And you ask, how much can I buy a house? And they tell you 30 million. And you check your account and see that you have 4,000. You laugh at yourself feeling like a fool. Remember, the jealousy of God is standing by you to defend you. Please sit down. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle he said the priest shall approach and speak to the people we are reading to four and shall say unto them hear O covenant people ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be ye terrified of them why verse 4 for the lord your god is he that goeth before you to fight for you against your enemies and save you can i tell you ask any man of god that you respect ask your man of god coming here look look let me tell you the stories of men are the exploits of courage in the midst of pain there are people today they were told they would not survive certain things they refused that i will not die they saw death again and again i have a choice but i've made up my mind no way there are people who refuse when one door closes they don't have time morning they force another one to open listen we live in a world where people find pleasure justifying mediocrity and they sit down there and use very justifiable reasons to remain there they destroyed our house in 2007 that's why i don't have a house till now it looks like an obvious answer but it's not the right one please listen carefully god is speaking to us test number one is the test of courage someone shout and say in the name of jesus i conquer fear the fear of opinions the fear of failure the fear of the past the fear of the future turn it into prayer right now turn it into prayer right now in the name of jesus i conquer fear i conquer fear fear over my tomorrow fear over my destiny the lord is with me standing by me like a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus in the name of jesus deuteronomy 31 let's hurry up please sit down someone's spirit is firing up this night deuteronomy 31 from verse 6 to 8 listen by the time i'm done teaching you believe me a grace will come on your life this night you will walk out of this place knowing that you encounter the grace of god in reality be strong and of a good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the lord thy god he it is that god goeth with you he will not fail thee nor forsake thee verse 7 we are reading to 8 and moses called out joshua and said unto him in the sight of all israel be strong and of good courage for thou must go with these people unto the land which the lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them and thou shalt cause them to inherit it verse 8 and the lord he it is that goeth before you he will be with you and he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be dismayed please look up whenever god speaks to you about your future 
God does not talk to men like he's talking to men. God talks to men like he's talking to himself. Hmm. As we draw the curtains on this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman, let the transformative truths shared resonate within your spirit. May the seed of wisdom, faith, and purpose take root, bringing forth abundant fruit in your life. Carry the light of revelation into your week, knowing that you are equipped for victorious living. Stay connected with the divine and continue to grow in the knowledge of God's love and grace until we gather again for another moment of spiritual enrichment. Go forth in confidence and may your journey be filled with divine favor. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section and we'll get back to you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video. God bless you.